Hey, five things that you need to know before moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. Stay with me. And welcome back. Well, let's dive into five very important things that I personally think you need to know before moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. I am talking to you as a human that has relocated from Europe, then to Los Angeles, then straight to the Raleigh, North Carolina area in 2011. So I've learned a lot about the, the whole place, about what it's like living here. I'm not necessarily speaking to you from a perspective of a realtor, even though that is very important as well, because I'm seeing all these people that are coming here, but stay with me because the information is key if you are considering moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. Before I start, please keep in mind that I do have other videos on my YouTube channel and I will point you to the vlog that I have recorded uh, and also I have recorded some pros and cons of moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. So you need to know those as well. And if that is not enough information, then look at the vlog about Raleigh and also um, look at Don't Move Yet, Do Not Move Yet. I have a video that's called Don't Move Yet, um, just because I think that it's important, again, to look at all of the aspects, both positive and negative, when it comes to relocation and just generally moving to another state. All right, so let's dive into first thing that you need to know before moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. Of course, I have my cheat sheet here. I do a lot of research about the area and I and I just love sharing this with you guys. So I hope this information is going to serve you well. So the cost of living, that is one thing. It's very important. The cost of living is slightly higher than the national average. And I pulled some really cool data that you need to know. So did you know that a single person, one human being needs at least $1,896 in Raleigh? So that's the average cost of living here in the Raleigh area. And if you're a family of four, you're going to need almost $5,000, okay? so. $4,564 is the actual amount for the cost of living for a family of four. So it's pretty much in the top 19% of the most expensive cities in the world. And just as an FYI, the median after tax salary is about $4,803. So if you look at that, you need to really consider the rent, you need to consider the mortgages, of course, the salary, if you have student loan, because Raleigh is definitely not where it used to be. A lot of people are complaining about the cost of living. At least we don't have super strong winters. So you're not going to pay as much in utilities during the winter. However, it gets cold as well. And in the summer, it can get fairly hot. So you are going to have utilities that are not going to be very expensive, but definitely not cheap either. When you're looking at medical expenses and you're looking at the food, gas pricing is definitely not like in California but it is definitely on the higher range. So consider the cost of living and just look at the numbers. Make sure you are aware of where the Raleigh area is before deciding to move here, all right? Number two on my list of things that you need to know before moving is the competitive housing market. I am going to put all of the links from where I'm getting my information so you can spend some more time on analyzing them. However, just let's start with the fact that Raleigh has ranked 128th in the list of the best places to live in the world. So let that sink in. And the 28th best city to live in the United States, also the second most livable city in North Carolina. So I'm going to send you the link from where I'm getting my information but I'm just pulling it from a lot of sources for you so you understand how highly rated Raleigh is and also see why people are moving here, right? And how much money are they making in a just regular job? And can you actually compete with that? And is this going to give you the comfort level that you want for yourself and for your family? 
And so when you are looking at the competitive housing market, please understand that this market has really changed drastically in the last couple of years. Most markets changed, but because of all these jobs and the economy that is thriving here in the Raleigh area, the housing market is extremely hot. Even right now, we are in 2023 already, and it is not um, predicted to change. So let me just read some interesting details for you just so you understand where I'm coming from. Besides the fact that, of course, the median price point for listing price point in Raleigh in December 2022 was around $425,000, um, trending up 5.5% every single year. And the median listing home price per square foot was around $221. And the median home sold price was so sold 385,000. So now this is for the Raleigh area. You're looking at townhomes, you're looking at homes and every single area in Raleigh, of course, like in every other metropolitan area is different. So keep in mind that you might have neighborhoods that are going to be 1 million, 2 million, which is by the way, like the 1 million is the new hot price point because of all of the people relocating here from very expensive, cities such as Los Angeles, San Francisco. So they're bringing a lot of cash. Um, so they are disrupting the market. And so it is getting very competitive in that $1 million price point. However, if you are looking at where was it, where was it? It's right here. So Lawrence Yoon, who is the chief economist and senior vice president of research um, at the National Association of Realtors, actually forecasts that the market and the rents are going to rise. Um, Raleigh area asking rents rose at a rate of more than three times the national inflation rate year after year, according to uh, the most recent analysis from Redfin and the latest consumer price index. I'm going to put the data in there as well for you. So looking at everything and how the National Association of Realtors actually expects the real estate market for the Raleigh area to outperform the nation in 2023, you need to uh, study the market and you need to please call me or your realtor and determine where are you with your finances and whether or not you can actually afford to buy a house or to rent a house. Now, of course, you can rent something for $2,000. You can buy a house and maybe have a $2,000 mortgage. However, because of the rates that have increased, if you were qualified for a house purchase seven months ago or so, things are going to look different. So you want to make sure that you are going to get a different pre-qualification letter from your bank or pre-approval letter. So um, the pricing, the forecasts for the homes here, I would say it's going to stabilize. Some say it's actually you know, going to increase slightly. Again, because of all of the jobs that are coming to the Raleigh area, the market is very competitive and we do see multiple offers on our end fairly often. Not as much as we saw them six months ago, but they are definitely still there. All right. The third thing that you need to know before moving to Raleigh, North Carolina is extreme pollen in the spring. I have mentioned this in my previous videos as well. In case you haven't seen this and you don't really know and you have allergies, please be aware of the fact that spring does bring a lot of allergies. Not only spring, actually, the fall season as well. There's a lot of um, grass types that you might not be used to, certain trees that might not be beneficial to your health. So keep that in mind. And when we say extreme pollen, yes, the pollen is very thick. It can actually get stuck to your windshield. You're not going to be able to open the windows for a while, which from my point of view is quite a, something that I don't like because I love opening the windows. Uh, so keep that in mind before moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. The fourth thing is also related to health and it is high humidity. Now, summer is turning my hair into something that looks like this. 
So all of you ladies that are concerned and have fine hair, dry hair, wavy, curly, keep that in mind. You know, that shall be the biggest of our concerns. Hair, something you can definitely address and adjust as needed, maybe put a hat on. However, if you are suffering any sort of issues breathing uh, and humidity is not your friend then definitely keep or come here during the summer and make sure that you can handle it it is not florida a lot of people ask me this question this is the reason why i'm actually putting this in the video it is not we we didn't think about this when coming here to be honest and then summer just hit and we're like oh as i said Keep very different feeling when you're out there. If you want to play tennis, like my husband was playing tennis outside, definitely not the same lifestyle. So if you are not okay with humidity, please consider maybe not moving or definitely come and check it out. And the fifth thing that you need to know before moving to Raleigh is heavier traffic during rush hour. This has also changed and to our surprise, getting out of downtown Raleigh at 5, even 4.45, 5 o'clock can be really bad. It really hit me, to be honest, about two weeks ago. So we, of course, drive a lot being in real estate and usually 5 o'clock, 5.30 is not the ideal time, especially in the winter because it is dark outside already. So I. We don't really go out with clients maybe to listing appointments but not showing homes however the other day i was um, traveling with some of our clients that are relocating and they were only here for a few days and we were traveling north to the wake forest area north raleigh and we were coming back towards Cary around six o'clock or so and the traffic going towards wake forest was just bumper to bumper you you, you didn't you couldn't move there's absolutely no accident. We were tracking traffic with them because it was very important to them as well to be able to go back home if they were to buy a house in Wake Forest. So keep that in mind. Now, it's not as bad as other states. However, it is something to consider. I just wanted to throw this out there because I rarely speak about traffic. I don't hear a lot of complaints from our clients. However, if you are coming here with a job, I would definitely check where I am buying the house or renting a house and consider traffic just for, for your future. If you have children to pick up or anything that's important or you know you might want to be closer to a hospital, whatever the case is in your life, in your family's life. So I think these are the five things that you need to know before moving to Raleigh. Um, they are short, they are uh, important in my opinion. So keep them in mind. If you have any questions, please let me know, comment below. Let us know if there's anything specific that you need us to record for you and tell you, share with you. Feel free to subscribe, click the bell button for notifications so you can be the first one to learn everything there is to know about coming here to the Raleigh area. Thank you so much for watching and till the next video.